people are obsessed with Marilyn because it's, she's mysterious. She fascinates them, so which creates a mythology and people can't define. She's, there's so many layers and she's very complex. And there's an innocence and sensuality about her. And, um, and we all identify with that sort of uncertainty which she projected on screen. And whether it be a teenager of today or someone who's in her generation, male or female, especially females, they actually love Marilyn. I think she's one of the f few, you know, sex goddesses, uh, you know, that w women love. You know, women really adore her. So um, they didn't find a sense of competition. It's just they related to her. Well, there were qualities about Marilyn that women really look for. I mean, when her famous flying skirt over the grate, um, and it, it just kept going up even over her face, and she was wearing her transparent panties that showed she was not blonde all over. <laughs> I think that, you know, she was way before her time. She dared. And in the 50s, post-war, uh, that was uh, very unusual. You know, uh, she, women who were, you know, shop girls, secretaries, housewives, teachers, they sort of, when they saw Marilyn, they viewed their own lives with new eyes. And she was way before women's lip. <laughs> so she's, so in, in a sense, many of the actresses today, many respond to Marilyn in such a positive way and emulate her and want to be in movies that, that are about her, um, in, in their books about her, is because she's a character that is, is strong to them. And she was way, and she, she dared. And she was one of the first to do so. And, um, and strength and empowerment of women is very important. When a well-known honeymoon couple arrives at Tokyo airport, a throng of 4,000 baseball and movie fans surge out of control, break through police lines. Joe DiMaggio and his bride smile bravely at their greeters, but they don't dare move. So back into the plane they go, while police clear a path to the cargo hatch with DiMaggio's convertible. The stratagem works. The former Yankee slugger and his picture bride escape into the car and head for the safety of their hotel. But their troubles aren't over. Next day comes a press conference where the public was barred, but the photographers and reporters more than made up for that. Their questions were rough, ranging from the risque to the ridiculous. And Joe, he's the forgotten man, which is something in Japan where baseball is so popular. I mean, never underestimate the power of you know who. But enough's enough. His patience is exhausted, and Joe says, go. Marilyn Monroe privately was very different than she was publicly. She had created this character. She was not this, this ditzy kind of funny sex pot. She was a very thinking, very curious, very intelligent woman and always wanted to better herself. And um, so we never see that in the characters she plays. We see something to, because she was, a, she was an actress. As Billy Wilder said, she was one of the great comedians of all time. She had great timing, except timing coming to the set on time, <laughs> he would say.